In today's episode of Working It Weird, we're peeking into the life of a professional dream giver, courtesy of Diddy's gift giving extravaganza. Imagine being 15 and promised a Ferrari, then getting the keys to a mansion at 18. Most of us are lucky to inherit the family's oldest, quirkiest car, but here's Justin, lining up for luxury before he's even legal. While we're scratching our heads wondering about the whereabouts of Justin's folks, perhaps they're navigating life in a less glamorous vehicle, contemplating a swap of life lessons for a spin in that Ferrari. It's a wild ride, blending dreams with a dose of reality. And if you're craving the full story behind these lavish promises, head over to the Joseph Morris channel. I always aim to keep it light and funny, but let's be honest, navigating the comedy in this saga is like trying to parallel park that Ferrari on a busy street. 15, you could ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Not that. Not yet. No. Right. 16. No. 16. No. Slow right. down. Let's slow down, Josh. Okay. Let's slow down. One, okay? one step at a time. But, yeah. Diddy didn't just stop at giving Justin the Ferrari. He offered Justin the mansion and told him he could have it when he turned 18. Yeah, then when you get 18, you get the house. You get okay. the mansion. Okay. Yeah. I get the mansion. Just to recap, Diddy promises Justin a Ferrari at 16, and Nexi also promises Justin an entire mansion when he turns 18. So what could have been Diddy's motive for giving Justin these expensive gifts? I mean, could he have been manipulating Justin into an adult relationship to do adult things at such a young age? It's alleged by Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, that he does just that. And I want to